man. Um, oh, man. This is, uh, it's cool. We're twins, uh, by the way. Uh, uh, it's true. Uh, a lot of crazy things have been happening. We got uh, fired from our last job. It was about a year ago. Um, but it was terrible, man, because they fired us at the same time. <laughs> For the same exact reasons. It was crazy. And you don't want to get fired with your identical twin brother at the same exact time, you know what I mean? Because I mean, it's like not only are you getting fired, but it's kind of like you're watching yourself get fired in 3D. <laughs> It's trippy, it's trippy, man, it's trippy. It's getting kind of tough to be twins on the street, though, man. It's getting crazy, you know? You can't do trivial things. Nah, man, because people always come up to you and say weird twin questions, man. Like, we were in the supermarket the other day, you know, shopping for some Jello. <laughs> and this dude, he walked up to us, and he asked us for a stick of double mint gum. It's very offensive, man. <laughs> very. So we don't have any money, man. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, uh, it's getting tough these days, man. We did something we haven't done in a long time. We checked our bank account. Uh, it was pretty depressing, yeah. man. We had three dollars in it, all right? Or at least we thought we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we looked a little bit closer. It was three dollars with the parentheses around it. Which apparently means something entirely different. Yeah, man. Apparently means we gotta pay the bank three dollars. <laughs> and that threw us off, man, because when we first saw it, we thought the bank was trying to protect our last three dollars. <laughs> uh, a bit of a misunderstanding, yeah, I would say. Yeah. But it's all good. Our mom gave us six dollars, so we're back at three. It's cool. Yeah, man. It's all it's straight. It's uh, awesome. Our dad was most disappointed in us when he found out we got fired, yeah. which was kind of weird because the dude went to prison. I'm like, you can't really be disappointed at that point. <laughs> yeah. But he ain't let prison hold him back, man. He did a lot of dope things in prison. He got his bachelor's degree in prison, actually. It's true. He was the first dude in our family to get his bachelor's degree in prison, so that's a good thing. Yeah, man, probably, uh, it's cool. But the only weird thing is he got his degree in philosophy, which, that's, that's, a, <laughs> like, that's a terrible degree to get in college. Why would you get it in prison, you know? <laughs> you know out, you know? Mm. Because it wasn't working like practical prison situations, that's you know true. what I mean? Like a shank situation. That's true. Like a dude sneaks up on you, like, yo, I'm about to stab you, dog. Like, what are you gonna be like? Hey, man, how you know that knife is real? <laughs> <laughs> Won't work out. I don't see that working. Nah, man. not at all. Nah. We got a friend, he's a big fan of sports, but he's also a feminist. Yes. So he always tries to convince us to watch the WNBA. It's a little challenging, man. He always puts forth these arguments, like, yo, man, if it just got rid of the NBA, more people watch the WNBA. Not how things work, man. No, not at all, man. Not at all. Because you can't get rid of something that's super dope and replace it with something that's not as dope. You know what I mean? Because like a couple summers ago, you ain't hear nobody say, man, now that Michael Jackson's dead, I can finally listen to all this Jermaine Jackson. <laughs> Okay. Didn't hear that. Not a soul. No, no one no. said it. Uh, no one said it. Not even Jermaine Jackson. Yeah, it's, right. it's true. It's true. I know. Yeah. But we play basketball a lot too, man. It's like crazy. We got a friend, he's like super arrogant. Says the same thing after every game. He's like, yo, if I was seven inches taller, I think I'd be in the NBA. It's like, nah, dude, you just be a little bit taller. <laughs> But it gets you to thinking, man. You think NBA players do the same thing in reverse? Like, do they talk about the things they would do if they were a little bit shorter? 
It's like water cooler talk, you know. Two NBA players go together, like, yo, man, if I was seven inches shorter, I think I'd get my college degree. <laughs> Maybe. It's just a thought, man. It's just a thought, you know. So we, um, so we, we do, we do drugs. Not like not a lot of drugs. No, just no, a, no. We, uh, it's mainly weed. You know, that's it. I think it's 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 probably like ninety seven percent weed. Ninety seven percent weed. <laughs> yeah, man, but we're, we're trying to step our drug game up. You know, do some do some different stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. Like we did shrooms for the first time last week. It was it's crazy. I mean, if you ever decide to do shrooms, here's a rule of thumb: you should never do shrooms with a dude that looks like you. <laughs> There, there appears to be a small dinosaur <laughs> in my room. And the guy said, ah, oh, yeah, mate, yeah, that's a gecko. And he hung up. My girlfriend's pregnant, and we're very excited about it, and that's exactly how you have to say it. <laughs>